Secretary Ross has a Congressional Medal of Honor, which is one more than you have. So let's say we agree to this thing. How long is it going to be before they lowjack us like a bunch of common criminals? 117 countries want to sign this. 117, Sam, and you're just like, no, it's cool, we got How it. How long are you going to play both sides? I have an equation. Oh, now oh, this will clear it up. In the eight years since Mr. Stark announced himself as Iron Man, the number of known enhanced persons has grown exponentially. And during the same period, the number of potentially world-ending events has risen at a commensurate rate. He's saying it's our fault? I'm saying there may be a causality. Our very strength invites challenge. Challenge incites conflict. And conflict breeds catastrophe. Oversight. Oversight is not an idea that can be dismissed out of hand. Boom. Tony, you're being uncharacteristically non-hyperverbal. It's because he's already made up his mind. Oh, you know me so well. Actually, I'm nursing an electromagnetic headache. That's what's going on, Cap. It's just pain. It's discomfort. Who's putting coffee grounds in the disposal? Am I running a bed and breakfast for biker gang? Oh, that's Charles Spencer, by the way. He's a great kid. Computer engineering degree, 3.6 GPA. Had a floor level gig, an intel plan for the fall. But first, he wanted to put a few miles on his soul before he parked it behind a desk, see the world, maybe be of service. Charlie didn't want to go to Vegas or Fort Lauderdale, which is what I would do. He didn't go to Paris or Amsterdam. Sounds fun. He decided to spend his summer building sustainable housing for the poor guess where, Sokovia. He wanted to make a difference, I suppose. I mean, we won't know, because we dropped the building on him while we were kicking ass. There's no decision-making process here. We need to be put in check. Whatever form that takes, I'm game. If we can't accept limitations, we're boundaryless. We're no better than the bad guys. Tony, if someone dies on your watch, you don't give up. Who said we're giving up? We are for not taking responsibility for our actions. This document just shifts the blame. I'm sorry, Steve, that, that is dangerously arrogant. This is the United Nations we're talking about. It's not the World Security Council. It's not SHIELD, it's not Hydra. No, but it's run by people with agendas, and agendas change. That's good. That's why I'm here. When I realized what my weapons were capable of in the wrong hands, I shut it down, stopped manufacturing. Tony, you chose to do that. If we sign this, we surrender our right to choose. But if this panel sends us somewhere we don't think we should go? What if there's somewhere we need to go and they don't let us? We may not be perfect, but the safest hands are still our own. If we don't do this now, it's going to be done to us later. That's the fact. That won't be pretty. You're saying they'll come for me. We would protect you. Maybe Tony's right. If we have one hand on the wheel, we can still see her. If we take it off... Aren't you the same woman who told the government to kiss her ass a few years ago? I'm just... I'm reading the terrain. We have made some very public mistakes. We need to win their trust back. Focus up. I'm sorry, did I just mishear you or did you agree with me? Oh, I want to take it back. No, 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 you can't retract it. Thank you. Unprecedented. Okay, case closed. I win. I have to go.